بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتمم بالخير Question number 10 We learned in the beginning of the lesson about Qafaya and here we can see that this is Ya Al-Matakallim and Ya Al-Matakallim Maftuhatun it takes Fatha Ma'a ismin akhiruhu alifun with a noun that ends with alif as we can see over here for, exa for example yada or dunya as we can see it ends with alif so ya al mutakallim takes fatha when when a noun ends with alif and we have to use ya al mutakallim aw ya un sakinatani or when we have ya as sakin as we can see over here so in this case we have ya as sakina so in two cases when uh, ya al mutakallim is used as uh, mudafile it takes fatha. Number one, when it has alif before it, as we can see that asa, that means a stick, and you want to say my stick. So how will you say asa ya? Similarly, fata ya, and similarly dunya ya, and similarly we have yada ya. But when you want to say here, it will take fatha. But when you want to say my hands, so how will we say we have yadai? Plus, we have Ya al-Mutakallim, so it becomes Yadaya, my hand. So in this case, it becomes Yadaya. Similarly, when uh, Ya al-Mutakallim is Sakin, and when we connect it with another word, sometimes we connect it with Fatha. For example, we say Rabbi al ala or we say Rabbi al azim So Ya al-Ala wa Ya al-Azim, also Rabbi Allahu, similarly, Allah is my Lord, so we connect it with Fatha. So these are the two cases when it takes fatha, when we connect ya al mutakallim, when it is used as mudafilay. Question number eleven: Tamrinun shafawiyun. Now we have oral exercise, and shafawiyun, as we know that this is what kind of ya is this? Ya al nisba. Uh, as we say, shafatun is used for the hands, and then uh, you want to say like sorry for the lip, and then when we want to say the lips, so we say shafawiyun, something that is. Oral. So, tamrinun shafawiyun, oral exercise. Yes, alu kullu talibin zamilahu. Every student asks his classmate, Mata istayqatta? What time did you wake up? Wa man aiqadaka? And who woke you up? So, istayqadha is to wake up by yourself. And aiqadha is from number four, when someone wakes you up. Aiqadani walidi, my father woke me up. So, when we have someone... Aiqada is to wake up someone from sleep and istaiqada is to wake up by yourself. So you can practice with any of your colleagues, with your friends, your classmates, whenever you have time, inshallah. Then we have exercise 12. Hadi mudari al afali al atiyah. Ghalaba is daraba yadribu. Ghalaba yaglibu. Yes. Okay. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, to take over. Habata mm yahabitu. -hmm. Uh, to descend, to come down. Kasa yaksu. Does anyone remember? To clothe. Hmm? To make someone wear the clothes or to clothe. And then we have aftara yuftaru is to eat breakfast. And similarly, when you uh, like man aftara sa'iman, whenever like you uh, you have a guest, like uh, someone who is fasting as a guest and you offer him to break his fast, that is also called aftara yuftaru is to make someone break his fast as well. And similarly, we have asarra yusirru, also from number four, to confide, uh, to tell someone something secret or secretly. Aqrada yuqredu, also from number four, to lend money. And iqtarada yuqtaridu is from number eight, that means to take a loan. So this one is to give money, and this one is to take money. I mean, uh, to take a loan, uh, sorry, to give a loan, and this one is to take a loan. This is lend, and this is to loan, as we can see here. So these are the forms, alhamdulillah, we have completed all of them. And inshallah, I'm sure now uh, you're getting used to them, and they, they definitely help us, especially with the understanding of the Quran. Udhkur abwaab al-afal al-waridati fi hadithin abi dharrin. Uh, we have learned a hadith uh, in this lesson, in the exercises, and 
we have learned about different forms of the verb. So rawab yarwi, as we know that this is from number one, the base form, or we can say number one. And then we have tadalama yatadalamu, tafa'ala yatafa'alu. Which form is this? Does anyone remember? Seventh, seventh, yes, sir. Seventh or sixth? Sixth, yeah, it is sixth. Okay. Uh, is this the correct way of writing six? Okay, let me write it like this. Then we have kasayaksu again from number one. Tabaraka, ya tabaraku, tafa'ala, ya tafa'alu, same from number six. Hada, ya hadi, which form is this? First form, sir. First form, that means to guide. And when you want to say to be guided, then what will be the verb to be guided? May yahadillahu fahu al muhtad. Ehtada yahtadi, to be guided. So from number one is to guide someone, and from number eight, ifta'ala uh, yafta'ilu, ehtada yahtadi, so to be guided. Istaksa, I'm sure you can figure out this one. It's the one that we are discussing in this lesson. Form A to start. Istaksa is eight. Ten, yes, sir. Ten, yeah, X over there. After ta, uh, when we see that the next letter is sakin, that means that this is from number 10. Okay. Uh, then we have the ta ta'ala, again, ta'ala ya ta'ala from number 8, and this is uh, this verb is used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, when you want to ask someone to come to you, how do we say? Ta'al, right? Ta'al, so it's in the same, uh, like... Yeah, it, maksuma, yeah. yeah, so no, when you want to say like uh, to someone, like to your... Um, brother or to your son Ta come here Ta what do you say Ta al, yeah. Ta al, you come it's basically from the same verb and it signifies like uh, the 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 dignity of the person that you're calling on maybe something like that i uh, read about it long back so ta'ala is a f definitely used for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta'ala ya ta'ala and when you want to ask someone to come to you how do we say ta'al and what will be the dual Ta'ala with Alif, excellent, yeah. And then we have for the plural, it will be Ta'ala. And I think there are many examples of Ta'ala in the Quran. And we have, I'm sure we have learned some, some verses as well. So Ta'ala, you all come. Then we have here Ista. Uh, Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Is this okay? It's. Is that right? Isn't it? There is another ta over there. It's I think so. Or is that that? Yes, that that. Is that that? Is from number eight. Okay. Hmm. All right. That means to be guided. That we discussed uh, a while ago, right? It's on the pattern of istafala from number eight. It's for me. Yeah, okay. Then we have akhta'a, yukhti'u, ikhta'an, to make mistake or to wrong someone. So this is from number? Four. Four, okay, excellent. Qala yaqulu, we have discussed a lot from number, or we can say the base verb. At'ama. This is also form four. For at'ama, yut'imu it'aman. Ghafara yaghfiru, again from number one or the base form. Harrama. This is form two. Two, excellent. Harrama yuharrimu tahriman. And then we have istat'ama, uh, to ask for food. This is from number 10, istaf'ala. And then we have istaghfara, yastaghfiru istighfaran from number 10 and ja'ala. And we have learned different four meanings of ja'ala. Uh, in the Quran as well. Uh, that means uh, it is also from number one, Jana. Okay. Hati Mufrada, now we have to provide the, the Mufrad or the singular. Al Hawaij, needs or, yeah, needs. So what will be the singular of Hawaij? I think, yeah, I, I gave you the singular in the lesson when somewhere in like Namudaj, Namud, Namud, Namud. yeah, but this yeah. is Hajatun, right? Hajatun, Hava Iju, Hava Iju, okay. Hajatun. Then we have Shorta, and Shorta also has singular. 
وجس شرطيا شرطيا and then something like the yaul this thing was that to be yeah nisba maybe yeah yaul nisba yeah yeah and then we have al qafa and the plural is aqfiyatun aqfiyatun to rhyme rhyming about something aqfiyatun um ما أسلو تظالموا I think uh, you remember this في قوله عليه الصلاة والسلام فلا تظالموا what is the original form of تظالموا تتظالموا excellent perfect yeah so it was basically لا تتظالموا and we have learned that uh, whenever we have like تتا the combination of two تاس then one gets dropped and sister, you were the one to ask me, like, how will we figure out? Yes. And then you said that. I just suddenly striked out. <laughs> yeah. And you, you told me that the answer will be the same with the passage of time. Yeah. And we know that when we are like conscious about something, it's difficult to realize. But with the passage of time. When someone, in, someone just says, we think, then it strikes us that. Otherwise, uh, when I'm alone, I will not uh, like figure it out. Most of the, to be honest, I also maybe I think for the first time, I didn't realize so it's like That's we what, get someone we are used should be to it. there who is a yes. little bit uh, like stressing on that and then you realize that exactly yeah. it is very impossible to start that. that's Allah right yes Allah will guide us inshallah inshallah ya Rab. then we have the plural of Martian you know the broken plural uh, I don't know how many uh, patrons do we have a lot right so the plural of Martian is Mushatun and the original form is the, the patron is Fu'alatun and uh, mushatun is basically mushayatun, mushayatun. And we know that whenever ya is mutaharrik and there is fatha before it, it changes into fatha. In book number two, we dis discussed in detail that whenever wow and ya, whenever they are mutaharrik and they have fatha before this, then they change into alif. These two ya and wow, whenever they are mutaharrik, then that means whenever they have fatha, damma or kasra, no matter whatever they have. Uh, and when we had, they have fatha before them, uh, then they changes into alif. So what happened? It changed changed into mushatun, mushatun pedestrians, the ones who are walking on the road, right? So yujmal arin ala oratin. So the plural of arin is oratun ala wasnif oratin. And how do we know that it's on the pattern of oratun, as we have seen over here? Ijma'il asma al atiyata hadal jama'a. Now we have to make plural on the same pattern. So Martian is, we have seen over here, uh, Mushatun, the pedestrians. Okay, what will be the root letter of Martian? Masha. Masha. Excellent. Yeah, Masha Yamshi. So that means these are Naqis, yeah? The verbs, these are Naqis, uh, uh, Afalu Naqisa. That means yeah. they have they have Wav or Ya as the third root letter. Root yeah, so that means that this pattern is very common with these verbs that are Naqis. So most of them, as we can see, in fact, all of them are naqis. Either they have wow or ya as a third root letter. So masha yamshi fahuwa mashin. And the plural will be. And and this is on the pattern of ismul fail, right? Mashin is ismul fail. Ghala yaghli ghalin. Qada yaqdi qadin. Hada yahdi hadin. Rama yarmi ramin. So I'm sure, inshallah, now you're getting used to it and you're able to figure out. So mashin. And what is the plural of mashin? We have seen now Mushatun, Mushatun. pedestrians, okay. Mushatun. And the plural on the same pattern will be Qudatun. 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 Okay. Qudatun. Yeah, excellent. Hadin. Qudatun. Hudatun. Okay. The one who guides is Hadin, and then the plural will be Hudatun. Hada Yahdi. So the root letters will be Hada Yahdi. Rama Yarmi Fahua Ramin. Ramin and. Rumatun. Rumatun. The, the ones who aim or throw something, right? Wala uh, yali and fahuwa walin and wulatun. Yeah. Wulatun. Wulatun amr. You might have heard a lot about, especially in, in, in Saudi Arabia, whenever they make dua, they make dua for wulatun amr, the, the rulers or the leaders. Ghaza yaghzu fahuwa ghazin. Ghuzatun. Sorry. Uzzah. Yeah, Ghazatun, the ones who participate in any kind of fight. Ghazwa. And then we have, yeah, Ghazwa. And Ghazwa is the same from here. Ghazwa, Yaghzu, Fahuwa, Ghazin. 
And the master is Ghazwatun. And the person But who... Now we cannot participate because only, only the Prophet participates. That's all as a Ghazwa knows. Huh? Exactly, yeah. But Ghazai Yaghzu means to any to participate in any kind of fight. Kind That of fight. is called Harb, right? Harb as well, yeah. Okay. And similarly, uh, Ghazin and the plural is Ghazatun. Hafa Yahfu and the plural is... Hufatun. Hufatun, barefoot. So those who are bare feet, they are Hufatun. So in the... In the In the hadith, we have learned like that all of you are naked and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the clothes and he will clothe you. So Aaron and Oratun and similarly, all of you are barefoot and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide you with whatever like requirements we have and inshallah he will provide us. And this is a summary of uh, Adawatun Nasb. And it took me some time, alhamdulillah, but I, I really wanted to figure this out. Because uh, it's been like five, six years and um, I've seen like books in Arabic and English in Urdu as well. And I would always come across like these four adawat or we can say or the particles of nasb. So, ahruf tansibu binafsiha. So then I was like, in the Quran, you might have noticed and I noticed a lot in the Quran that most of the times I will find mansub but I, I wouldn't know the reason like why it is in Nasb. So basically, these are the four uh, which give Nasb to the Madari directly. An, Lan, Idhan, and Kay. So these are the four that give Madari uh, directly to the, uh, sorry, to the give Nasb to the Madari directly. And then we have second category is Ahruf Tansibu Bi'an Mudmara. And these are the particles that have a hidden An in them. So hatta we have taken, right? Uh, but yes, uh, the I rest, yeah, hatta we have taken. But aw, we never took it. Lamu talil is also over the cost. Lamu talil, we have taken it a lot. But my only concern was like, it is used a lot in the Quran, but like why it is not uh, considered as, you know, like huruf and nasb. And then we figured out like, it is also from huruf and nasb, but the grammarians, nuhatun, nuhayan hu, nuhatun, yani grammarians, Uh, they only say that these four are adawatun nasb and the rest they don't consider them to be the part of that so because they are not directly giving nasb to the to the mudari they have something hidden into them so that's why they are kind of semi you know particles we can say however they have the same function so that's why we need to know about them as well aw alwaw basically and then we have hatta lam ta'lil lam juhud inshallah we will see about this now Fa'usababiyya, we discussed about this, and then we have, sorry, basically this is wawal ma'iyya. So let's see uh, how do they function. So uh, these are the four that we have learned in the lesson previously, in the previous lesson that we have learned about an, wahiyya harfu mastariyatin wa nasbin wa stiqbalin. So it basically changes a sentence into, or madari into infinitive. It gives it nasb and it gives the meaning of future. So it gives the meaning of future as well. Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to forgive you. So uh, this is used for the, it gives the meaning of uh, infinitive and nasb and also istiqbal, the future. Lan wa hiya harfu nafiyin wa nasbin wa istiqbalin. So the difference is this, this is harfu uh, masdariyatin and this is nafiyin. That means it gives the meaning of negation and the negation in the future. And the rest of the two are the same, Nasbin wa istiqbalin. Qala innaka lan tastatiya ma'iyya sabra. You will not be able to, to be patient with me, he said. So we can see now that uh, after lan, it was tastatiyu. And then because of harf uh, lan, it changed into tastatiyya. Kay wa hiya harfu masdariyatin wa nasbin wa istiqbalin. So kay is similar to an. Kay nusabbihaka kathira, so that we glorify you a lot. So... Nusabbihu has changed into Nusabbiha. And these are the examples as we have discussed like in detail in the previous lesson. Idhan, wa harfu jawabin wa jaza'in. And as we know that this is completely different from the rest of the three. And this is basically harfu jawabin. So we use it as a response to the statement. And similarly, it is used for nasb and also for the future. Sa'azuruka ghadan insha'Allah. I will visit you tomorrow. Then Hamid says to Khalid, exactly. and Khalid says, I will, I will wait for you. Yeah, Idan, Antadiraka. And there were like four conditions, I'm sure, inshallah, you remember three or four conditions uh, that it should be connected to 
Uh, yeah. The uh, verb should be connected, be connected to, to the verb, except yeah. for the lamb First of, of all, uh, it should be in the beginning of the sentence. The, exactly. Yeah, sadrul kalam, yeah. and then there shouldn't be it any should distance be both between. Connected. Yeah. Yeah, and if there yeah. is a uh, there is a distance, and then the distance can be through la 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 nafia, and al qasim al qasim. Yeah, there is oath. Yeah, al oath. Al oath. That's the qasim as well. Yeah. Okay, and these are the ones. Uh, the rest of the six, the four we have discussed already. So these are the six, uh, the rest ones, easy. yeah. And these particles have hidden an in them. So we can say that they're, they're the uh, sisters of an uh, lanka and idan. Hatta. So, lan tanalul birra hatta tunfiqu mimma tuhibbun. So it was tanaluna, and then the noon has been dropped. And similarly, it was tunfiquna. And then the noon has been dropped. So hatta tunfiqu. So the grammarians they say that this is basically hatta an tunfiqu. So that's why they don't consider it to be the real A direct particle, uh, indirect one. Yeah. So this is indirect. So, uh, however, uh, we need to know that it makes the madari mansub as we can see over here, and the meaning is the same until la mutalil. We have discussed a lot uh, in Surah Al Kahf. as we can see over here. So you can see over here, and also, so both of them. Because this wow is connecting this sentence to this sentence. So now we can see over here that uh, it was it was basically and it was and because of uh, they have changed into, as we can see over here, they have become mansub. And it gives the same meaning to give good tidings to the believers and similarly to warn of severe punishment. And then we have Lamul Juhud. It is basically a Lamu Talil. But why it is called Lamul Juhud? Because it always comes after negative, Makana or Lam Yakun. So the only difference that we need to know that whenever it comes after Makana or Lam Yakun, then it is not called Lamu Talil, it is called Lamul Juhud. That's the only difference. And in the Quran, we can see over here, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لَيُضِيَ إِمَانُكُمْ إِمَانَكُمْ So we can see over here, the function is the same. It was يُضِيُّ, يُضِيُّ And uh, because of Lam, it has become لِيُضِيَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِالنَّاسِ لَرَوْفُ الرَّحِيمُ So that's the only difference. Uh, the name is different, but the function is the same. So this is Lam al and this is Lam al and this comes all, always after مَا كَانَ Oh, it comes after Lam yakun. Fa'u sababiyya. Aw yadhakkaru fa tanfa'ahu dhikra. So we can see over here. It was basically tanfa'u. Tanfa'u. But because of fa'a sababiyya, it has changed into tanfa'a. Now there might be so many uh, reasons behind that, but the one of the reasons that we can see at least over here is, at least when we, we are reciting the Quran, that after fa. When we see that the mudari is mansub, then we can figure out that this is fa as sababiyya because fa has different kinds as well. And then we have aw. Uh, that means or laysa laka min al amr shay aw yatuba alayhim aw yu'adhibahum. So aw yatuba and also aw yu'adhiba. So it was yu'adhibu and it was yatubu and because of aw now, subhanAllah, look at the beauty of, of the, you know, these uh, small things that we never, I never knew about these things, alhamdulillah. And this is what we, we call tadabbur and tadarus, that we are trying to figure out and learn about more and more about the Quran. So, also, they make the madari mansub, aw yatuba alayhim, aw yu'adhibahum. Wawul ma'iyya, this is basically, it is means it's from ma'a, ma'a means with, okay? So, it shows like something is happening with something together. And please remember that vowel ma'iyya is also used with the nominal sentence and it is also used with the verbal sentence. So it is also uh, maful bihi, one of the maful bihi. Uh, we have learned about like uh, maful bihi and uh, three or four different kinds we have learned. There are total six of them and inshallah two more we need to learn and inshallah I think we will learn in lesson number 28 or 29, vowel ma'iyya. Anyways, it means something. It is basically called musahaba. What is musahaba? Sahaba yusahibu musahabatan, to be in the company of someone. Yeah, it's also called musahaba as well. 
يا ام حسبتم ان تدخلوا الجنه ولما يعلم الله and we know that lamma when it comes with the madari it makes madari majzum and that's why we have kasra over here wa lamma ya'lam Allah alladhina jahadu minkum wa ya'lam as-sabirin wa ya'lamu it was ya'lamu but because of wow it has become wa ya'lam as-sabirin so we can see over here uh, that it has become mansub over here so these are six extra adawat uh, nasb which also make mudari mansub and inshallah you can add them to your notes uh, so that whenever you are reciting the quran whenever you are reading any arabic book or any book in english to learn arabic we should know that these are not only six four of them these are basically 10 that have been used in the quran at least so this is what we already know now alhamdulillah uh, what is so special about this verse of the quran please uh, look at this and tell me what is so special about it The example that we discussed before, Surah Al Imran, that was exam verse number one twenty six, and this is once verse number twenty seven. What do you see over here? It all has all the particles Ali. of nasb. Yeah, not all. Yeah, it has at least three particles of nasb over particles. here, right? Yeah. So, la mutalil. Yes. So subhanAllah, now we can see over here that I was like uh, looking for the example and then I found this one and I was like so amazed that to be honest, I never noticed before like looking into depth that we have three examples of of these uh, huruf and nawasib in the in the quran in one verse of the quran as well now we have some more examples over here uh, and we know that this is from number 10 in case you don't remember because we started like uh, four or five lessons ago so istafala it has hamzat al wasl seen and ta will be extra istafala yastafilu fil al amr will be istafil ismul fa'il will be mustafil mustafal will be ismul maful and istifal is the masdar Istadhana yastadhinu, istadhan, mustadhin, mustadhan, istadhanan. Does anyone remember the uh, the verse of the Quran we took from Surah An-Nur? I don't remember, but it was about like the, the children when they reach the age of puberty, they must seek the permission before they enter the room of their parents. Istadafa yastadifu. Istadif. And then we have mustadif, mustadaf, and istidafan, uh, to oppress or to weaken. Um, Ismail Maful over here, please pay special attention to this because we will have, inshallah, a uh, verse of the Quran, and then you have to figure out if it is uh, uh, Ismail Fail or Ismail Maful. Istajala, istajil, istajil, mustajil, mustajil, and then we have istajalan to seek uh, someone to, to hasten. Istaghfara, uh, we have discussed a lot about it. This is our base verb that we have taken for from number 10. So istaghfir, uh, this is ismul fail. Uh, sorry, this is uh, fil al-amr. Mustaghfir ismul fail and mustaghfar is ismul maf'ul. Yes. Istakbara. What's the difference in like istaghfara and istakbara? These two, we know that from number 10 is used to seek something, right? like to seek or to ask. So istaghfara is to ask for forgiveness. But how does istaghfara different from istaghfara? To seek for forgiveness. That uh, haughtiness is that one is Excellent, that? yeah. Or to, to seek something that you don't possess, but you pose to have it. And to seek to be arrogant, excellent. So this is completely different. And this is the second characteristic of from number 10 that we learned in the beginning of the lesson. Similarly, istahza is similar to istakbara, where like uh, uh, to mock at someone, and basically someone who is mocking is he's seeking to mock someone, and he's trying to be like uh, arrogant or he's trying to make fun of someone. So it might be like closer to istakbara, istahza, istahziu, istahze, as we see that in the end it becomes sakin, mustahziun, mustahzian, and istahza and istakama, yastakimu. 
Okay, how many forms of Qama uh, Yaqumu now? Can you tell me? We have learned form one. Form one. We have learned form two. Qama Yaqumu Yaqama then. Excellent. Also, we have learned from number two. Qawama Yaqumu Taqwiman. Yeah, when it was Ewajja Mizlajuhu. And if you remember, and then uh, the, the teacher asked, is there someone who can make it like straight? Okay, istaqama istaqimu, istaqim. And then we have mustaqim, mustaqam, and istaqamatan. Inna ladhina qalu, rabbuna allahu, thumma istaqamu, fala khawfun alayhim, wa lahum yahzanun. Yeah, so we have to ask for istaqama. And then we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with istiqamah. Okay, and we know that this uh, tamar buta has been added because this is ajwaf. So whenever we have ajwaf in the derived forms of the verb, uh, then an extra ta or compensatory ta has to be added to the master only over here. Similarly, istata, yastati, istati, mustati, mustata, and istata'atan. Uh, to be able to do something and again the same thing because this is ajwaf that's why we have this compensatory ta over here istajaba yastajibu istajabatan istajib mustajib mustajab and istajabatan again the same thing here istahya yastahi istahi mustahyin mustahyan and istihya'an to be ashamed of something and istaqarra yastaqirru istaqrir mustaqarrin or what is this Mustaqir, mustaqar, and istiqraran. Yeah, mustaqir and mustaqar and istiqraran uh, to remain in one place, to remain steadfast. All right, so uh, we will just inshallah have a look at only the past, present, ismul fa'il, ismul maful, and maybe madari can be majzum as well. So we have to look at uh, uh, like different forms of form number 10. So Amma man istaghna. So what about istaghna? Which for, Past form tense. is this? Past tense. Okay. Wala tamnun tastakthir. Tastakthiru. This one is present tense. Present. <laughs> yani anta tastakthiru, right? Yeah. Then we have inna ma yastajibu alladhina yasma'oon. Yastajib. Yastajib. Present tense. Present tense, yeah. Yani huwa yastajib, okay. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ This one is... الْأَمْرُ أَسْتَجِبْ Again. <laughs> you must figure out. Yeah. This one is, should be present tense. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أَسْتَجِبْ I, uh, I will respond. This... If it's not it, if we are not able to figure out this time, then it means. Um, this one is uh, I, I will respond. This is. Uh, this is. Amar. Okay. Mm -hmm. The one you said, like which can be referred to the future, also that time the present tense will go into this. Uh, what is that? Uh, no, 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 that, no. Of course not. I have made it clear to you, Udaruni. Udaruni. Okay. Ya Rab. Call upon him. Call upon me. Uh... Okay. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri. Wa Yasirli Amri. Wahla Lokadata Milisani. Yafkahu Kauli. Even now it's not clear. <laughs> okay. Mudari is majzoom. One more hint I can give you. Why mudari is majzoom over here? It is astajibu, right? Talab, Ustad. Jawab talab. Yeah, it's jawab talab. <laughs> so this is like we have started learning about this. I'm, I'm sure from lesson number 14, we have started learning about this, that whenever we have talab, it can be fail al-amr, fail al-nahi, and it can be command, yeah, as we see. And uh, so after that, the mudari becomes majzoom. Waqala rabbukum. If we like stop over here and then we want to continue, we say udruni, right? Because we know that this meme is used to connect Hamzat al-Wasl. Rabbukum udruni. So what is udruni? 
you all call upon me. So this is fil al-amr. If we call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what will happen? Astajib lakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will respond to you. So it was basically astajibu lakum. Astajibu lakum. And ya has been dropped because we know that when mudar is mayzoom and iltaqaw saqidin, then the weak letter gets dropped. So it is astajib lakum. Wa idha salaka ibadi anni fa inni qareeb. How do we continue? Right? So what does that mean? That means that we have to call upon only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one else. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us here clearly that Ud'uni, call upon me. Astajib lakum. I will respond to you. Then we have Vastarishahu uh, thiyabahum wa asarru wa stakbaru stikbara. This one is Amar. Vastarishahu is Amar. Past. No. Past, okay. Home, Yani, is Tarshaw, okay. Past. Was Takbaru? The same thing, Ustad. Past, yeah. Past okay, what about uh, Istikbar? This one is Masdar. Masdar, excellent. And why is it used over here and why, what do we call it? Masdar or Mutlaq. Yeah, Mutlaq, yeah, absolute uh, object, yeah. yeah. And it is used for? Uh, the uh, em emphasis, emphasis, yeah. Emphasis. Can you give me any other example of um, uh, uh, this uh, maful mutlaq and not master mutlaq? Yeah, maful it's mutlaq. Maful mutlaq. Yeah. Can you so give me any other example of this? Yes, it comes in Surah Insan. <laughs> so many you start like Dakkan Dakka. Yes, okay. Dakkan Dakka, excellent. Yeah. So many. No, it's not coming to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay, what about Daraba Yadrebu? Darban. Nasara Yansuru. Nasran. Fataha Yaftahu Fathan, right? No, every verb that you learn in, in Arabic language, every verb that we started our journey from from number one. So whenever we say Nasara Yansuru Nasran, Nasran, why we say Nasran? Why do we not say Nasrun? And the reason is because it is ulama and the grammarians, they say because it is used as maful mutlaq. So, nasara yansuru, nasran, daraba yadribu, darban, right? So, every verb that you have learned in Arabic language, you have learned about uh, maful mutlaq. So, it's not only the examples in the Quran, like, of course, we have, but every verb that we have learned. So, all of them are the examples of maful mutlaq. So, here we have, was takbaru istikbara. Okay. Illa al mustadafina. That was uh, my question when I asked you to remember this. Mina rijali wa nisai wal wildan. La yastatiyuna hilata wa la yahtaduna sabila. Mustadafin. What do you remember? What do you say? Is it uh, ismul fail or ismul maf'ul? Ismul fail. Yes, okay, the it is what? is happening to them, yeah. Yeah, so what is this? Yeah. Ismul, maf'ul, excellent. Oppressed among them, oppressed as we can see here. The ones who are being oppressed. Yeah. yeah, if we, we talk about the oppressor, then it will be mustad ifina. It's basically you're like maybe thinking that we have kasra over here and the second last letter has kasra, but if you look at the root letter, Istadafa, Yastadefu, Istadafan, Fahua, Mustadifun, Mustadifun. So Ain should have Kasra. Ain, because Fa is the last letter. And Una, Ina, Ina is added because of the plural. Plural, yeah. So you might be slightly uh, deceived because you have seen Kasra over here. And because there is a Kasra over here, and you might be thinking, okay, whenever we have. Uh, the last, second last root letter, not root letter, when it has kasra, that means that this is the ismul file. Yes, but the thing is, we have to see over here that it finishes over here. Mustadaf. 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 What will be the dual? Mustadafani and Mustadafuna and Mustadafina. Una, ina, ina. So Mustadafun, Mustadafani, Mustadafuna. 
mustadafina. So that means that this is ismul maf'ul. If it is ismul fa'il, it will be mustadif. Yeah. Yes, yeah, kasra should be over, over, over here. All right, so that's why I asked you to pay a very special attention to this. And then we have as-sabirina wa sadiqina wal qanatina wal munafiqin wal munfiqin. May Allah forgive me. Wal mustaghfirina bil ashar. Sabirin is what? Ismal? Fail. Sadiqin? Fail. Qanatin? Fail. So these are all from form number one. Sadaqa so yasbuku, sadaqun. You're also, hmm? the fa is coming with the kasra, so that's ism file, right? Yeah, no, Mustaf. this is different because this is form number one. So we know that form number one, the doer comes on the pattern of failun, right? It comes on the pattern of failun. So it was basically so sabirun. No, we are just focusing only here, first number one. Sabirina is from number one, sadaqina is from number one, and qanatina is also from number one. Qanada yaqnudu fahuwa qanitun. Munfiqina. Fine. On the two. Which verb form? Munafaqa. Munafaqa. Mm -hmm. That will be munafaqatun or munafiqun? Munafaqa. 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 Excellent. Yeah, from number four. From number four is very, very common in the Quran. It's used a lot. So, well, munfiqina and those who spend... Well, mustaghfirina. Now, That's is this ismul file or ismul file? Ismul file, mustaghfir. Ismul file, yeah. Because, Why? because the file here? is coming with the kasra. Yeah, mustaghfir. And in the yes. previous example, the ayin came with the fatha. So that's why we said it is as a mawful. Yes, okay. So here we have mustaghfirina bil ashar. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. So alhamdulillah, uh, from number 10, it's been a long journey, but our, we have completed our forms. And then, inshallah, we will start with rubai. Verbs are not finished yet. So we have like one more lesson about the verbs. May Allah make it easy for all of us. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Shadu wa la ilaha ila ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum salam.